But when you just say that there is a white privilege out there in the ether and that by dint of birth, your skin color generates for you an advantage, what you're really saying to people is that you, your view is less valuable because you have not experienced what I've experienced. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video, guys. Today, we're going to be reacting to Congresswoman tries to call Ben Shapiro racist. Regret it immediately. Okay, this is going to be my first time checking this out. I'm going to try with you guys. know how to do it. To talk less why I don't react more. Let's get into this video. Mr. Shapiro, you talked about white privilege. And um, just this week, I had a conversation with Rachel Lazar, who's done some work, um, a Jewish um, American woman who's done some work on this area, as well as uh, having extensive conversations um, with Dr. Greg Parks of Wake Forest University, who's also talked quite a bit about um, critical race theory. Um, and it's, it's my understanding that white privilege is not telling individuals that they cannot speak, but it is a term for societal privilege that individuals have as a benefit of their white skin. Um, and I don't think that, um, and I think universities would be remiss to then say that because you're white, you're not allowed to say anything that's critical of white people. I didn't know that white privilege actually went into that sphere. My understanding is it's just, and the issue is, is that white privilege makes people uncomfortable to talk about the societal privilege that they have. Well, it, to, to me, the, what I say on campuses all the time is if you want to cite instances of racism that we can all find and fight together, that's something that I'm more than willing to stand next to you and fight because that's obviously stuff that we should fight together. But when you just say that there is a white privilege out there in the ether and that by dint of birth, your skin color generates for you an advantage, what you're really saying to people is that you, your view is less valuable because you have not experienced what I've experienced. Mm. And that is an identity argument, that's a character argument, that's not a rational political argument that can actually be, be taken on in any way. That's, that's, it's, more of a, it's more of a cudgel in a club than it is an attempt to open a discussion. Well, I think it's a um, demonstrable evidence that um, through society's demographics that um, being white has societal privileges that being black does not. But I well, we, we am can talk very about interested. how that manifests because that's I'm also interested in what you just said now was that you would stand next to anyone who has this. So Mr. Shapiro, my question to you is She called some um, shots. For Ms. Ms. Dumston, the tying the noose around the campus and writing messages that target African American young students, would you consider that hate speech? And then would you stand next to her and fight for her? As I say, I would. It, it, this is the first time I'm hearing about it, honestly. But it, really, what, yeah. Um, but but from exactly. from hearing about it, maybe it's, it's local. I mean, I'm from LA. Um, but in any case, um, I'm more than happy, more than happy to, to stand alongside her and, and fight whatever group was responsible for this. Not, not only more than happy, I mean, you're talking about the alt-right. Again, I was the number one target of anti-Semitic harassment from the alt-right last year. Thank so you. I'm more than happy to do all that. And I, I think there's one more distinction that has to be made. When we talk about cases like, like Taylor's, they're horrific, and the administration is siding with Taylor. Okay, the administration is doing the right thing by Taylor, or trying to do the right thing by Taylor, as they should be. And I think that we need to make a distinction between cases where the administration is actively participating in the suppression of speech and cases in which the administration is trying to do the right thing as a, as in, order to, in order to make people, in order to punish people for uh, application of crime. Hmm. Okay. Shapiro is really clever. I love how he states fat clear to the women. Duma, she's just trying to call him short. That's what I observe. Uh, she feel like he's talking too much. He's not, he's not seeing what she want or yeah. So she got to cut him. But Ben says stand by his weights. See, you observe that part, she's trying to throw some tantrums on him, but he said, no, uh, I'm, I'm not from here. So you don't, you don't expect me to know that. I'm from LA. You don't expect me to know everything. <laughs> I love that about Ben. He, he's very clever. He knows what he's going for. But a woman being born as white, a lot of people say there's a white privilege. But you should not base your life being born as white as with white privilege, as white privilege. Anyone who thinks like that thinks little about yourself. Because either you are being born in any color, you can get something for yourself. You don't have to dwell in that white privilege stuff. No. That is, that is how all this racism starts from. This, that is how it's continued. We can't stop it if we keep on if we keep on talking about this white privilege. The whites are getting this, the, the black are getting this, the white are we are trying to like put us on categories. We know everybody has different skin tone. We all know that. 
some have more melanin, some have less melanin. So it's being white or being black doesn't change your person. But if you keep on dwelling like the white are getting more privilege and the white than the black, you won't grow, you won't move anywhere. You feel you feel victim, victimized. You 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 feel like a victim every time. So until you get that mindset off you, being white or being black, we all are humans. We all have our rights. Let me put it as right, not privileges. We all have our rights. We all can achieve something great by ourselves. We don't have to be cat- categorized white and black. This have privilege. I don't have the privileges the white man have. I don't have the privilege the black man have. No, you don't. You don't face things like that. If not, we'll keep on living in this and this ideology, this racism, this this war we are in. I don't know how to face the world perfectly. The, ra- the racism will keep on going on. If we keep on talking about the white privilege and the black privilege, it will keep on going. You see, everyone, it's like you saying um, someone was born in a, in a silver spoon. Other people were not born having such. They have to work hard for it. You are being born there does not mean if you didn't keep the work going, you can't drop down. You're being born there, you have some achievements you are going to get and okay, what you are getting, the other person who was born with a silver spoon that come out from a poor background and is trying to grow, you guys are not the same thing. But the person who is down can rise up to that same level with the person who was born rich. You understand? Even more than that. So, you don't f- phrase your mind with white men have this privilege or this white people have this privilege. I can't get there. I can't get that. You have to think more than that. For me, that is how we can stop this racism that we are experiencing. So, I feel like we should get off that mindset. That's what Ben Shapiro is trying to tell the woman, but she's not getting this point clear. That mindset is, is downgrading everyone. So, it's not good. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all